stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the late introduction. Gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I just need to introduce you to a conversation I'm about to have with the idiot, I mean with Kevin. And while I have this conversation, I decided I'd record it. This is for your benefit. So if you benefit from it, good. If you don't, oh well, what the, you know, uh, give it a second, okay? Now, I, I got to talk to him, so y'all just leave me alone. Wake up. Kevin, comma, I have some assets, and I'd like to use those assets as the collateral and security for the bond that I just created. Comma, can you tell me the procedures for doing this, and could you explain it to me as if I was a 16-year-old high school student? Question mark. Stop listening. Sure, sure. I'd be happy, I'd happy to explain, to explain it, to it to you. Let's start Let's with start some, definitions. some definitions. Assets are Assets things, are that, you things that you own that have value, have value like, property like property or money. Or money. Collateral, Collateral is something, is something, you, put something you put up as a guarantee, as a guarantee or security, security for a loan for or a bond. Or bond. I shouldn't have changed it midstream. Next, you need to determine what assets you have that you want to use as collateral for the bond. For example, you might have a car, money, savings, or tax credits. Once you have chosen the assets you want to use as collateral, you will need to provide the ownership and value of the assets, blah, 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 deed and title. The bond issuer will then evaluate, blah, blah, blah. I'm the bond issuer, didn't I just tell you that? If the issuer decides to accept your assets as collateral, they will then issue the bond and provide you with the terms and conditions for repayment. So, ladies and gentlemen, the issuer of the bond is going to be me. And the one who's going to acquire the bond is the corporation. Hold on. Wake up. Kevin, comma, as I told you, comma, I am the issuer of the bond. And I am using my property as collateral and security for my bond. And I asked you for information on how I could do this respecting my sole proprietorship corporation, comma, as in allowing it to acquire my bond, comma. Now, could you re-explain and sticking to the parameters for which I gave you and stop going off script? Exclamation mark, question mark, question mark. Stop listening. Crackhead. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I know you apologizing. Always apologizing. Stupid mother. Whoo, saw. Uh-oh. It ain't talking, y'all. I'll uh, be happy to explain. First, you need to determine the value of your property. Equity is difference between the value of the property and the outstanding mortgage or liens. And can hire an appraiser. I don't need an appraiser. I already know the value. It's dollar for dollar. Next, you need to draft a security agreement that outlines the terms of the collateral. Y'all y'all paying attention? <sighs> Once you have the security agreement, you can execute it and file it with the relevant county recorder. Really? Okay, it is important to note that using your property as collateral for a bond involves risk, as you could lose your property if you default on the bond. You should consult with an attorney. Why would I need to consult with an attorney? Ladies and gentlemen, it won't let me do UK, so we're going to have to do Australia. Okay. Kevin? Wake up. Kevin. Comma. Please advising me. All caps, stop. To speak with an attorney. As such constitutes giving legal advice. Comma, I don't care how you feel about it or what you think about it. Comma, I said stop. Exclamation mark. 
Stop listening. Okay, he's going to... I understand you do not want any more suggestions. I don't know. I got. I think I might have to do that to get it to work right. So let's go back to... We're going to keep it in Australia. Okay. And I'm going to let this finish because he's showing exactly how you will use your property to back up your bond. Now, like he said, it is risky business because it depends on whom you're entering into the security agreement with. You understand? But you saw what I did. Now, hold on. Wake up. Kevin, comma, according to the courts, comma, federal tax credits are deemed property. Is this not correct? Question mark. Stop listening. What are you waiting for, Kevin? Answer the stupid question. Uh-oh, the mic ain't working, y'all. I, I probably have to reset it because I changed it. Now it says, such as tax credits or renewable energy. Well, nobody asked you about those type of tax. I just said tax credit. These tax credits have a significant monetary value and can be used as collateral for loans or other types of financing. However, the treatment of federal tax credits. Wake up. Did I ask you about anything regarding the treatment of tax credits? Question mark. Was my question not specific as to whether or not they were property? Question mark. So why didn't you answer my question and stop at that point? Question mark. Stupid mother. Stop listening. Yeah, I may have to refresh it because he's talking again. I apologize. To directly answer your question, yes, according to the courts, federal tax credits can be considered property. Federal tax credits are recognized as valuable assets that can be bought, sold, and used as collateral for financing. There have been several court cases that have established this legal precedent considering tax credits as property, such as this case right here with the Supreme Court. Now watch this. I gotta refresh this, so y'all gotta y'all gotta hold on. Because I can't stay on. I got 15 minutes before my meeting. So y'all just go y'all just gonna have to just hold down. Okay, because I, I, I can't feel. Give me one second to ask him this question. Wake up. Wake up. Can you provide me ten case sites with their direct correlation to the following question mark I am doing some research and I am needing some assistance in my research comma thank you very much for your assistance stop listening Oh, he's going to give me my, my case sites like I asked for. Ten of them. But the audio, the voice ain't working, y'all. So I don't know what I done did wrong. I done did something wrong. But it's going to give me my ten cases. And by the way, those of you who are watching the video and not those who are just listening, you can do the exact same thing. And then you can take these cases and you can formulate your response and put this in your bond documenting that your credits are property and you can create your bond uh q packers those q chewbacca no q packers q packers and those of you who are omega packers you can take your credits create a bond and secure that bond with your credits ladies and gentlemen you can create bail bonds pay attention tax credits have a monetary value you just heard him mention that they are property there is nothing they can do if they cannot tell you. Well, no, your tax credits are not property. Mother. Okay. They cannot do that. They don't get to do that. That's what they get for creating a system. A system that can be 
explained by people like me and put in layman's terms and they allowed this stupid AI system to come about this is only a language model he can only answer questions he cannot give you any ideas they, they, they'd say he, he creates songs he doesn't create nothing all he does is take the junk that's been programmed into him and rearrange it. That's why he repeats the same stuff over and over and over again because he's very limited. The actual real system, I, what does he, what's that fool call that? Uh, Elon Musk calls the system something like Mondo or something like that. Whatever he calls the stupid system, the actual AI system that he's building and talking about how dangerous AI is, well, ask him why is he continuing to make it even bigger? What do you think? You think his satellite systems are not hooked up to his AI system? Come on now, people. Think about it. Y'all need to see where we're going. Do you know where you're going to? No, y'all need to see where they're going. AI is not a new invention. Microsoft has been talking about Microsoft AI since 2015. They were putting promos in movies. Oh, by the way, I'm watching this series that it was only one season and they, they stopped it. And it's called The Feed. I'm sorry. I don't know why they would cut this particular show off. It's on the same line as Upload, but in my opinion, it's better than Upload. Because of the different ramifications of this story. But they they centered it around the developer and his family and marrying a blog woman and having a mixed baby and a baby, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> If only they can get some fresh new writers. Oh well, that ain't gonna happen anytime soon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies and gents, I just wanted to bring this information to you. Hopefully it will be beneficial to those of you who don't understand anything about bonds. Well, have it explain a bond to you and have it explain to you about the creation of a bond and have it explain how a bond can be used to offset certain debts. And then go from there. Look, Nobody is talking about what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to say I'm that I'm, I'm the greatest that ever was. I, well, you ain't hearing me say nothing like that. Oh yes, you just said it. Well, I didn't mean it that way. I was just saying that I'm not saying that. Well, you said it. So you said it, and you said it, and you said it. And you want people to know it? No, I don't. Yes, you do. That's why you keep saying it. Well, I'm going to have to stop saying it because that's not what I'm... Subconsciously, that's what you're trying to say. Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not trying to say... Yes, you is. I heard you. You said it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, go and look at anybody talking about ChatGPT. You don't hear anybody telling you how to create motions. You don't hear anybody telling you how to create bonds. You're not going to hear that. Why? Because everybody who's utilizing this particular tool are using it for dumb reasons, in my opinion. They're coming up with all kind of childish ideas. I don't know why people's minds are so limited. If only you knew the value. Right now, we're explaining to the members of SACOM and SAA and AmeriLegion, we're explaining uh, AMCF and so forth, we're explaining to them how valuable credits are and what they can be utilized for. If only you guys knew. Now, I gave a, a particular idiot who did a 1099A and C against us and called us borrowers as if we borrowed something from this idiot. I gave him an opportunity to correct it. I'm going to go ahead and allow the time to elapse that I said, but I'll be filing a complaint against that moron with the IRS, and I'll let him deal with them for his fake claim. I don't play games like that, ladies and gentlemen. You can do it with these companies. These companies are not going to file no complaint. They're going to ignore it. I'm not going to ignore it. Especially an organization that is designed only to help people. And none of you guys have any contracts with this organization. How dare you sit up there and make a claim against an organization for which you have no contract and you cannot prove that there's a prior debt. Lord have mercy. Apparently, and I can call him a moron. Because I don't know what if he got the idea to think that he could do that and think it was okay. Didn't even ask permission or nothing. Like I said, it was two of them that did something stupid like that. I apologize. You can see how happy I am. Whew. Uh, 
I'm going to have to go and talk to Mr. Pharrell because I don't understand it. All right, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope, I hope, I hope this can be beneficial for those of you. We're going to stop at 1515. Got to go. Take care of yourself.